Hi everyone, hope you're well. Um, I wanted to share something that I came across, like, which is interesting. It was again regarded to your brain video. I follow this Dr. Berg um, channel, and I find it to be very um, informative when it comes to a lot of health uh, matters. And so, I mean, this is a suggestion. I will be like adding the link below that one that I just watched. So he actually spoke about insulin resistance in the brain. And it's isn't it interesting that I just spoke, you know, uploaded something on the brain of the study, but it's, um, he spoke about insulin, insulin resistant in the brain and more so it was related to dementia and um, vitamin B1 deficiency in the brain that can cause insulin resistance where you're having, it's more of a brain function issue. So long story short, I thought about this and I'm thinking, okay, if PCOS allegedly is being, is connected to the brain. So how does it tie into our journey for health? And I never really thought about B1 vitamin, um, which is that thiamine. So he suggests taking a fat soluble version, bento, benfotiamine. Well, again, I will link this below the information. So just, you know, don't, wanna, I'm not good with the names right now. So anyways, I'm gonna link that below. So basically I decided to go and search to see how does this, tie into PCOS and what studies are out there. Go figure, B1 supplemented with, with metformin, if you're taking metformin, is far more beneficial than taken alone. So if you're taking metformin and you add B1, that is far more beneficial. I will link that below. So for the metformin users out there, this is the way to go. Now for the non-metformin users out there, I still am convinced to be supplementing with B1, whether it's 300 or 500 milligrams, I think B vitamins are essential for health. So that's my personal opinion on it. I'm going to go look for that now and also add it because I want to also have cognitive function. And if it does begin in the brain, I am going to argue or just surmise that perhaps there's a connection. There's no evidence yet. There's no research been done on it yet, but I'm gonna just go that far and say, if insulin resistance is existing in the brain, and the PCOS is linked to the brain, I am just hypothesizing here, this is no evidence, that perhaps there might be a link. But before the studies are done, I just may just add, I'm gonna add, personally add an additional supplement to my diet now after watching that to you know, um, figure out, because <laughs> I mean, maybe it might help with the brain fog and so forth, because if that is also existing in the brain, then this can be something to kind of investigate further and for ourselves and see you know, what's working for us. So adding that part is important. Now, I also want to state that inositol has B8 vitamin in it. So if you are in metformin and B1 is assisting, I had mentioned before that do not take both inositol and metformin at the same time. What I should have clarified was that do not take it, don't take inositol like metformin. But take, uh, if you're taking metformin and you want inositol benefits, which are B8 uh, vitamins that assist with depression, that can assist with anxiety, and it also is you know, it's beneficial overall, use it as a supplement, not as a replacement for blood sugar. So don't have it every meal, have like half a teaspoon for the day and that's it for inositol if you're on metformin. If you are not on metformin and using inositol as a metformin, the dosage will be different. So I'm hoping this is somewhat making sense. So I thought to add this right away because I just saw it and I thought, wow, this is quite powerful stuff. So I'm gonna, again, um, I'm gonna go try to find it here in town. If I can't find it, I'm gonna order it online and add B1 to my additional mix of vitamin D, you know, B, B complex, B12, folic acid, or, um, and also, I'm trying to think what else is there that I'm taking, omega, omega threes. There's a whole bunch of list, list, list of things that I'm taking, but um, that I've also shared. So yeah, just adding it to the mix um, and um, hopefully that will also ward off any further insulin resistant issues as we age. Again, not enough research is being done or has been done so far. It's always behind when it comes to females' health and you know, endo endocrine issues and stuff like that. So um, while this information is coming in, I think we can make a judgment call on what to include within our you know, own remedies until they start finding solutions. And I find a lot of times people have figured it out before the research study, research study has confirmed it. But in this case, no one would really know, for example, that with metformin also too, Take B12 because B12 deficiencies occur. Um, it depletes B12 within the, within, the, within the system 
and adding B1 actually does a better job in the PCOS um, health realm for metformin effectiveness if you're taking metformin. I hope this made sense. Any questions or comments, let me know. Hope you're all well. All right, take care.